As I've been mentioning, it's not easy to find genuine random PS4 lots because it's a current gen console and therefore people aren't really selling PS4 games at a wholesale value. Uh, but we finally found another one, so here it is, and it's got an interesting story behind it. Normally this is the part where I would pull off the eBay listing, but the problem is I can't do that. And I'm really upset that I didn't take a screenshot prior, right when I bought this. Sometimes I buy them ahead of time, let them sit after they're delivered just until I think I'm ready to film it and upload it. But uh, I ordered it like about a month ago from the filming of this video. The listing got taken down, but the user was still up, the, the seller, and they had like 400 transactions, mostly positive, but I think the last seven or so weren't any good, and maybe that's how they got completely kicked off, because now if I try to check their profile, they are completely gone from eBay. So I wish I could read the listing to you, but it's a random PS4 lot. Um, it was four different quantities. This is like 190 something dollars, much different from the lot that we did the first time, right? Like I consider this the first real genuine lot for PS4 games that we're doing. Cause that first one was only like, like $40, but it was mostly like retail returns and things like that. It was just really lucky, but this might be considered a, a real listing, but let's take a look and see if I, uh, you know, lost a lot of money or we got some decent PS4 games. Here we go. Lot number two, apparently. Also, uh, I don't know if I just said this, but I bought multiple quantities, so whatever the listing was, how it worked out to 190, I bought like four or five of these, just so that it worked out to where we probably got a decent amount of games to, to sort through. Okay, so that's lot one, apparently. And then that's lot two, lot three. Yeah, okay, so I bought four. Decent amount, right? Um, there's a lot of usual suspects at this point for PS4 that are fairly cheap. But from what I remember in the description of the listing, no sports games, which seems pretty big for what is a current gen machine. And then uh, I think it's I think it promised no duplicates, but let's crack into what should be lot one. Here we go. All right. Project High Rise. You know, the thing is, at least I like city builders and I believe this is a city builder, right? Oh, it's, yeah, I remember this game. So it's like an indie title where it's a side scroller. So um, you kind of build up from, uh, you do like, it's based on multiple floors. By the way, we'll always have the uh, value counter in the bottom left. I think I kept saying bottom right, but it would technically be, from your perspective, bottom left. And uh, so we got pro uh, Project High Rise, Battlefield Hardline. This will be at least pretty good for me for the most part, because PS4, you know, I doing okay on but there's gonna be a lot of titles I don't have like uh, this one for example definitely don't have this one of those uh, more obscure PlayStation 4 games sometimes these very obscure games can have uh, a really good value but I wouldn't be the best to appraise them so hopefully that counter is working out for us Ooh, evil within 2 uh, looks like I'm definitely gonna be buying some replacement cases and uh, we should be checking the discs here because that was a complaint this one looks pristine in fact, a lot of these already look uh, okay for the most part. Killzone Shadowfall is in really good condition. Wow. PlayStation 4 launch title. This game looks great. That's good. And it's a game I already have, so good candidate for a replacement case. Although the big issue, of course, is uh, box art. If we don't have box art, then we're really in a bad position here. We've got Battlefield 4. And this seems to look okay. So far, the discs look actually pristine so we got that going for us this is a great copy of fallout 4 got some slight sticker residue there any goo gone will take this off so again if you don't know goo gone will definitely take off a lot of those GameStop stickers we got some marker right here it says brian something or bryn i don't know but we got the division which i know trades for like a few dollars of that so i know the division ain't worth much and it looks like the Box art might be water stained or something. I almost feel like I'm out of place doing this, right? Because we've got <laughs> the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition coming. And it's amazing to see how many people are totally okay with buying that console and going all digital. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting set in my ways and it's... Maybe that's why these videos do so well because people like to live vicariously when most people are transitioning to going all digital. But uh, I'll still keep buying this. I'll be buying discs for as long as I can. I'm already seeing a game that I actually have uh, been meaning to get. 
which is That's You. It's one of those uh, PlayLink titles. So you use uh, the smartphone app, iOS and Android, and you play from there with uh, multiple people. This was for PlayStation Plus, I think. So, I mean, I already have this, but I just love having a case and box art. So that's cool to have. And uh, again, disc looks fantastic. I don't think we need to check every single disc. It seems like we also found another copy of Battleborn. It's just, it's almost sad, right? Because we know the history of this game and how nobody bought it. But it seems like even though it's so difficult to find PS4 games in a random lot, if we do, it seems to be in here. So we've got uh, Battleborn, which does look actually really good though. So it's got that going for it. Uh, ooh, what is this? Industry Giant 2 be a tycoon. This is, oh, a tycoon game. Well, the second you see the word tycoon in the title, you know that's what you're getting into. But it does look like a kind of a city builder simulation type thing, which I'm into. I wonder what the value of this uh, of this game would be. Agents of Mayhem, the loose disc, but it still looks good. Yeah, this is um, what is that? This is the ex that expansion to Saints Row, I think. I have never been too fond of the Saints Row franchise. It always felt like a goofy Grand Theft Auto to me, but that's just how I feel about that franchise. Uh, what is this? No, I've never heard of this either. In fact, that's a pretty weird... What is that? What is that guy? You see that thing? That's weird. Never heard of this game. Infernal Machines. Uh, Homefront the Revolution. Okay, awesome. This is actually great, right? A lot of people like Homefront. Definitely one I don't have in my collection, although this isn't the best box art. A little, uh, you know, got some... See, look at that. Like, what? Do, how, do, how do things like this happen? How do imprints like that happen? That is such an unusual... Here, I'll bring it up for you up close. Look at that. See that? See those perfect, like, indents that are, like, all lined up just perfectly? Like, how does something like that even happen? Hello, Melissa. Finally, an appearance in a video. Everyone always asks for her to show up, and... I can't make any promises because she kind of does what she wants, but there you go. Uh, we got Mass Effect Andromeda, which this is a really nice copy of it. Um, I, th I think I have it. <laughs> I don't actually remember, but uh, we got a copy here, so if I don't have it, then I have it now. I think there's a slight crack in the case, but who cares? We got it. And what is this? I am immediately reminded of 3D Dot Game Heroes from PlayStation 3. So how about we do lot number three? What do you think? Seems like you like lot number four more. Oh, Battlefront. The uh, Walmart exclusive sticker, or not sticker? It's like it's in the box art, which is like maddening to me. Maybe I shouldn't talk when I'm crumpling paper, because you probably can't hear me. But alright, uh, yeah, Battlefront here, and like I mentioned, oh, this case is a little, a little gnarly, but yeah, that's like, <laughs> they printed separate box art just for uh, Walmart exclusive rewards or whatever they do. That's uh, a whole new level of ridiculous, but uh, oh, yeah, go ahead, take a sniff. Next up, we got Micro Machines World Series, uh, published from Codemasters. I remember seeing some trailers for this. Uh, pretty cool, right? This one also reminds me of MotorStorm RC, if you recall that game. Not quite the uh, MotorStorm game I really wanted, but still one that I played in Platinum. And it looks like we have a rental sticker, so this is from like a Redbox or, or some place that does rentals. These things are such a pain to get off. Um, Goo Gone is where you might have an issue with these, depending on the kind of sticker that it actually is. Because I've definitely run into a few where uh, they, there's still like a problem with it coming off, so... I'll see how that works out for me later. Close to the Sun. I've never heard of this one either. Um, I do like that there's a bunch of games I've never heard of, though. This is uh, some sort of insert. I'll just put that back in there. Yeah, there's, you know, that's what's great about, like, PlayStation 4, X1, and, you know, even Steam nowadays, that you've got all these smaller, little obscure titles that can, uh, you know, finally publish on console or... But this actually looks like more of a, I don't know, would you consider AA, where, um, you know, it's got a slightly larger budget than what you would typically expect, but I'd imagine this developer is independent. I don't know. Ooh, Titanfall 2, always a great game to have. I think I have two copies of this, actually, so we've just got a nice, solid, uh, genuine PS4 case, which is always 
just on its own pretty valuable. Anthem, and this is a really good copy of Anthem, so I'll take it, despite what people think about the game. Uh, I will always take a really nice copy of anything. So, yeah, this might actually be in better condition than the one I have right now, which I believe I bought it from Amazon, which that was a video, used games from Amazon, which that one didn't turn out, the quality of it didn't turn out all that well. Putty Squad. Well, it's a black case, so not much we can do to salvage that. Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Yeah, this is like another one. Like, I don't know. I don't. I have no idea what this is. Um, but it's cool, right? I'll take it. So, we got another one. And, yeah, all these discs look really great. So, I'm not sure what was up with the negative feedback that uh, that user got. I almost feel like it's one of those things where... Uh, Fallout 76. It's one of those things where... Kind of like the PS Plus lineup where it never pleases anybody. And so when somebody orders a random lot on eBay and they're not doing it for something silly like a YouTube video and they're genuinely trying to get like cool or valuable games, then they're probably really upset when they don't get those rare and valuable games. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that's where it came from. Sing Star Celebration, a PlayLink title. Um, I actually don't have any... I don't know. I don't even know how many printed SingStar discs there are for PS4. I imagine this might be one of the only ones, but I love SingStar. Um, I've got plenty of copies on PS2 and PS3, and uh, when it was introduced on PS4, it was just an app. So I don't. I'm not aware of how many printed copies there actually are. Uh, Battlefield One. Have this one. Did we get a Battlefield One or no? Hardline and Four we got. So I think they've stuck true to no duplicates. Uh, Trials Rising. These are really fun games. Um, I can't play them too much without getting frustrated, <laughs> but they're really fun games. Uncharted 4. I'm actually shocked that we did not get more PlayStation 4 exclusives, only because their value is normally on the lower end. So, because there's so many of them flying around, like Horizon or Uncharted, that sold well over 10 plus million copies, and if it's not super recent, I was honestly expecting a lot more of these. Destiny 2. Um, I actually don't have Destiny 2 um, on disc, which, or I'm pretty sure I don't, because it went free to play, so you really don't even need the disc, but we got that. And then we got uh, more stuff that, again, don't really know what these are, like uh, Deponia. So we got that. And we got Ugly Dolls and Imperfect Adventure. I'm psyched about that. And then For Honor, which um, is a game that I probably also am not very, would never be very good at. Um, kind of slow, methodical combat, at least from what I remember, when uh, this game was like in its pre-release stage, so gameplay and trailers coming out. So actually, just now counting, um, we have 32 games, so better than I thought, right? I thought it was like six per lot. Uh, we got a decent amount of completes here, which is something I think, well, for me at least, is what I value getting out of these random lots. Not so much that I'm going to get a rare or expensive game, because that's probably not going to happen. And, um, yeah, I mean, overall, I, I don't think I could really complain. And so, again, despite whatever the value counter may say, uh, this is something where I just keep everything. The value counter is more for fun than anything else, right? Because if you buy these, uh, lots and try to sell these to make a profit that's not going to happen accounting for all the labels um ebay fees paypal fees um actually packaging the labor of shipping them them sitting in your room or wherever you're going to store them for how long there's just too much of an opportunity cost and then you're breaking even so it's not really a situation of trying to make money rather you want to make sure that you, you feel like you got a good deal and you got uh, a number of games that um can fit nicely into a collection. So I think for the most part, that is what we have here. A solid little mix of PS4 games. I think it's actually par for the course of what I expected. If anything, I certainly was expecting more Sony first party just based off of trying to sell something like this on eBay and making it appear valuable when it's probably not. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates here on YouTube. More random unboxings from eBay, Amazon, or wherever I buy stuff like this. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Mystic Ryan. And then that is it. Uh, I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.